Hello friends! So the first step to our mini painting without paint project is to gather your material and prep your paper. So what I'd like you to do is get some small sheets of paper or half pieces of paper even and if you have watercolor paper you can use that. If not, use regular paper. So the first thing to do will be you want to prep a sheet that will be your paint test sheet. So I have asked you to create at least six um, different types of homemade watercolor paint. So grab a sheet of paper and just randomly kind of draw these boxes on here. And this will be your test sheet that you're going to hand in at the end along with your um, watercolor painting. So I can just write test. This doesn't need to be pretty because it's just going to be where you're going to smush your colors to see what they look like when they're dry and see what they look like on paper. Okay, so hold on to that. Then you need some sheets of paper to do our mini landscapes or our postcards. Now, I have pre-drawn this one, a nice little border. And so I'm gonna ask you to do two different ones using your six colors. So grab some sheets of paper and I'm gonna just add a nice little border you don't really have to measure half a sheet of paper is fine but this gives me a really nice frame to work within and it will make my finished product feel a lot more finished and a lot more clean and a lot more you know like an actual artwork okay so you need to prep your two mini landscape papers and your test paper okay then once you've done that, you need to gather your brushes or a brush or something. So I've got some brushes. What happens if you don't have brushes? What can we use instead? Well, what about an old toothbrush you could use as a paintbrush? What about a Q-tip you could use? I have this paper straw I've squished the edge I could use as a paintbrush. I have this ratty old kitchen kind of scrubby that I've cut a piece off that I can use as a paintbrush. I have a sponge. I have this piece of plastic that I've cut and rolled up to make a brush. I even went outside and grabbed a couple of leaves that I can use to paint with. And when all else fails, look around. You can also use your fingers, although I encourage you to find some kind of object to paint with it'll give you a little bit more control q-tips are great if you have them all right on to the next step 